he has everything in his lockers to become a future captain and leader for Morocco. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. So today I wanted to talk about the story of Bilal El Canoos and how he went from being just a young boy who grew up in a small town in Belgium to now being the starlet of Morocco and breaking new grounds for them. On top of that, being nicknamed the future Kevin De Bruyne by many. Before we go ahead and begin, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this story. El Canoos was born on May 10th, 2004 in Stombeek, Bever, Belgium. Bilal's route traced back to Morocco where his grandparents had immigrated in search of a better life and football was a constant in his upbringing. His grandfather, a once local footballer, played a crucial role in shaping Bilal's love for the game. Starting at FC Crossing Jerbic, his innate talent was apparent, leading to a move to RSC Anderlecht, where his development truly accelerated. Under the guidance of youth coaches and mentors, Bilal El Canoo's technique and understanding of the game grew rapidly. Friends and families could recount the countless amount of time he would practice for hours and be driven by an unrelenting passion. It wasn't that long later in his life that KRC gang came knocking and saw something special in El Canoos. He transferred there in 2019 and it marked a crucial time as this was a move that would help shape his path towards a professional football career. And at just 18, El Canoos professional debut was a debut of both nerve and skills. His transition from youth football to the first team was marked by a perseverance and hard work. As he settled into the Belgian championship, his reputation had grew. From match winning goals to crucial assists, El Canoos' influence on the pitch became undeniable. Coaches and pundits began to notice his unique blend of creativity and mature. Bilal faced a choice, though come the year round, that many young players must take on, and that's usually in the shape of which nation to represent. Though uh, El Canoos was born in Belgium, he does hold the opportunity to play for Morocco through his grandparents and this decision uh, did take some time to reflect and though many years passed on he would soon not decide from his mind but his heart that he wanted to wear the Moroccan jer jersey and at the moment when he finally put on the national team jersey he was filled with emotion and could feel the connection to his heritage and it would only be the start of something greater as in uh, years to come he would eventually start getting called up for the youth team and continuing to make a great impression so much that due to some uh, for unfortunate event that had occurred to some of our senior players in the lead up to the 2022 World Cup, El Canoos was offered a platform to showcase his talents on the world stage. Though his playing time was limited, his performance against Croatia left fans craving more. Interviews with teammates revealed their belief in his potential and his character. And El Canoo's playing style um, would then go see a transition. And many have highlighted and analyzed that his overall game style is a blend of vision, control, and intelligence. His ability to read the game, execute long passes, and create opportunity sets him apart. So much so that comparisons started coming in with the legends like Kevin De Bruyne, which uh, might be a high praise, but they're not without merit. Uh, many pundits uh, break down his style, highlighting his dribbling, decision making, and adaptability, and can definitely see something that uh, hasn't been seen since De Bruyne's initial season was gank at during his youth. But with all that comes uh, the 
you know, all the challenges that he had to face throughout the year. Success didn't come easy for him. El Canoes faced many challenges, including injuries, pressures, and a lot of it came from his family, coaches, and teammates. And many could recount how his determination and mindset helped him overcome these hurdles. And looking beyond the pitch, El Canoes' journey has inspired countless of young players. His story of heritage, determination, and passion resonates deeply, making him a symbol of hope for many. And in that hope, he has continued to excel and definitely continued to wear the national team jersey with pride. As recently in this summer, he was called up to Morocco's under-23 squad for the upcoming AFCON, where he and alongside many young up-and-coming Moroccan talents helped lead Morocco to a successful uh, tournament where they would go on to win the tournament. And though he may have not had the best performance, he was a leader on and off the field, helping, encouraging his players, always being one to uh, promote and help everybody basically gain confidence, be reassure them that they are part of this team. And essentially, he can show at times that he is the future captain to take on the role for the national senior team. So in conclusion, El Canoe's trajectory from playing youth football to making his senior appearance for at club level not that long ago, and then to top that off by becoming the youngest Moroccan player, to ever feature at a FIFA World Cup is definitely without its merits. He has shown that he worked hard every step of the way, always continuing to develop his game. He has everything in his lockers to become a future captain and leader for Morocco's national senior team. And he will look to just get better with every season that go along. Currently at the time of this recording, he has just been phenomenal for Gang. And though the club hasn't really been performing up to standard compared to last season, he has continued to have highlight display definitely standing out amongst his peers. But of course, as we end this video, uh, leave me down a comment below. What do you think will the future hold for El Canoes in 2 years, 4 years, 10 years? And what do you think uh, could be in store for him? With that being said, I thank you all for watching my video. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.